In an interview with Esquire magazine, the star said, I stopped describing myself as a black actor when I realized it put me in a box. Elba explained, as humans, we are obsessed with race, and that obsession can really hinder people's aspirations, hinder people's growth. Racism should be a topic for discussion, sure, racism is very real. But from my perspective, it's only as powerful as you allow it to be. The actor said that he gets asked a lot if he's experienced racism, which he clarified that he has, but that he doesn't go to my black friends in conversation and ask them to tell me about racism. When talking about why he chose a career in entertainment, the prolific actor explained that he didn't become an actor because I didn't see black people doing it and I wanted to change that. I did it because I thought that's a great profession and I could do a good job at it. Elba continued, as you get up the ladder, you get asked what it's like to be the first black to do this or that. Well, it's the same as it would be if I were white. It's the first time for me. I don't want to be the first black. I'm the first Idris. As for representation in Hollywood, he said he, in many cases, is the first to look like him to do a certain thing. That's good, to leave as part of my legacy, so that other people, black kids, but also white kids growing up in the circumstances I grew up in, are able to see there was a kid who came from Canning Town who ended up doing what I do. It can be done. Even the great Denzel Washington, even Sidney Poitier, the great Sidney Poitier, admitted that their race affected the roles they were offered. So how can your race not affect the roles that you are offered, Idris Elba? Whose backside are you kissing, my brother? Are you snow bunny hopping? Because I'm trying to understand where this ridiculous... Brothers and sisters, this lesson that I'm going to give you right now, I want to talk about the Idris Elba effect. I want to talk about the Idris Elba effect. Uh, the Idris Elba effect is basically black people who think that they are responsible for their limitations. Black people who think racism is an individual construct that we can control. Uh, black people who think that if they stop calling themselves black, they will stop being treated as black. We got to talk about the Idris Elba effect. Idris Elba had made headlines recently. He took to Twitter and said he's going to stop describing himself as a black actor. He said, quote, there isn't a soul on this earth that can question whether I consider myself a black man or not. Being an actor is a profession like being an architect. They are not defined by race. According to Idris Elba, being an actor is not defined by race. My dear brother Idris Elba, my dear brother Idris Elba, I love you, brother. You're a good actor. I ain't got no issues with you. Hopefully you haven't been bunny hopping because if I catch you with a snow bunny, then of course I'm done with you, brother. Find you a black queen. All them beautiful African sisters over in the UK, my, my, my London Africans, my Wolverhampton Africans, my Bristol Africans, my Manchester Africans, my Birmingham Africans. No excuses, brother. Hopefully you're not bunny hopping. No bunny hopping, Idris. But I want to deal with what this brother said. We're not canceling or condemning him. Just like many Africans, he has a poor analysis and understanding of what racism is. Idris Elba like many white people who try to ignore the impact of race on the lives of African people, they like to look at race as something we all buy into, as if black people volunteered to be victimized by their race, as if black people uh, volunteered for them to be treated as second-class citizens, citizens because of their race. Black people never volunteered to be enslaved or colonized as a result of their race. Racism is something that happens to you. It is not, some, it is not something that you self-select. And obviously our dear brother Idris Elba doesn't understand racism because if he did, he would not be speaking from a position that suggests black people are being victimized by racism because we choose to. It's almost as if you are absolving the global white power structure and their creation 
of the system of racism that they have been investing in for more than 500 years. You want to absolve them of a system they created and make black people the scapegoat for the white power structure by basically saying, Idris Elba is basically saying that we can opt out of being victimized by race. I want you to tell that to Trayvon Martin's parents, that he could have opted out of being victimized by his race. Because George Zimmerman doesn't kill Trayvon is he, if he's not black. So Idris Elba, help me understand how Trayvon Martin could have opted out of his execution by race. I need you to help me understand how Breonna Taylor and Tamir Rice... Help me understand how Dante up in Minneapolis and Amir Pope up in Minneapolis. How about Eric Garner, Philando Castile, Freddie Gray, Alton Sterling? I need you to help me understand how these people, human beings, lost their life because they were African. No other reason. Not their behavior. If they were white, they do not die. If they were white, they do not die. Everybody knows this. George Floyd does not die if he's white. Everyone knows this. But according to Idris Elba, we're limiting ourselves to race. And we're being victimized because we are self-selecting to be identified as members of the African family. So I need Idris Elba to help me understand for black people who are being victimized by their race, not color of skin, race. Because you could be a light skinned, pale, mixed race African and you will still be victimized by your race. So I need Idris Elba to explain to us how our police genocide victims could have opted out of their race at the time of their assassination. Let me read what Idris Elba had to say. Idris Elba says, there isn't a soul on this earth that can question whether I consider myself a black man. Being an actor is a profession like being an architect, they are not defined by race, but if you define your if you define your work by your race, that's your prerogative. In his original interview, he said, quote, as humans, we are obsessed with race. I'm going to break this down. Idris Elba said, as humans, we are obsessed with race, and that obsession can really hinder people's aspirations, hinder people's growth. Racism should be a topic for discussion, sure. Racism is real, but from my perspective, it's only as powerful as you allow it to be. From my perspective, it's only as powerful as you allow it to be. So once again, Idris Elba, I need you to help me understand how all these black people, including children, including defenseless women, how were all these black people abused and brutalized as a result of being black, how were they able to reduce the power race played in their encounter with the police? How could George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, Trayvon Martin, Sandra Bland, how could they have reduced the impact that their race had on their encounter with the police that led to their execution. Help me out, my brother. I need some help, Idris Elba, because you're telling me race does not have to be a fact of black existence. Help me out, Idris Elba. Race affects the colleges you get into. Race affects the interview process. It affects the way you're treated inside the supermarket. I have six college degrees. I'm followed in every store I enter, even if I'm wearing a three-piece suit, even if they know my credentials. It doesn't matter. Race is a constant, Idris Elba. It is not a mutable factor. Idris Elba, just like white folks, and this is why black celebrities cannot be spokespersons. 
Idris Elba, just like white folks. And this is why black celebrities cannot be spokespersons. You are not politically mature. You are not politically astute enough to speak on these factors. And I wish y'all be quiet. Race is not mutable. Black people can't turn up the role race plays and turn down the roles. We don't control that because in order to control the impact of race, you have to control the systems and institutions where racism is used. Lord have mercy. Ancestors, are you with me? African ancestors, are you with me? African ancestors, are you with me? In order for black people, to be able to control the impact that race has, whether you are NFL quarterback, whether you are actor like yourself, Idris Elba, are you going to sit here and tell me, Idris Elba, that your race, no matter how irrelevant you act like it is, does not affect the type of roles you are considered for? Even Denzel Washington. Even the great Denzel Washington, even Sidney Poitier, the great Sidney Poitier, admitted that their race affected the roles they were offered. So how can your race not affect the roles that you are offered, Idris Elba? Whose backside are you kissing, my brother? Are you snow bunny hopping? Because I'm trying to understand where this ridiculous... Cultural ignorance is coming from. Are you planning to snow bunny hop? That's the question I have for my good brother Idris Elba, who I love and respect. Great actor. But politically, my brother, you are way off course. The only way black people can influence the impact that their race has wherever they are is if they control the systems and the institutions. Come on, my brother. You can't be that naive. Idris you cannot be that naive. Me and you need to sit down next time I'm in London. You and I need to sit down when I come to London this fall, brother. You cannot be this naive. If you don't control the institution, you don't control the role of race. If you don't control the system, you don't control the role of race. If you don't control the opportunities, you don't control the role of race. If you don't control the privileges, you don't control the role of race. If you don't control the wealth, Idris Elba, you don't control the role of race. Idris Elba said, we are obsessed by race. Idris Elba. My dear brother. You say we are controlled by race. Excuse me. You said we are obsessed by race. Who is the we you're talking about? When you say we are obsessed by race, who is the we you're talking about, Idris Elba? I need to know. Because black people are the least likely to be to mistreat somebody because of their race. No race is more humane than we are. We treat everybody as equals. If we didn't, the Koreans wouldn't be robbing us blind in the hair care industry. If we didn't, the white clothing and designer manufacturers couldn't be robbing us blind in the clothing industry. If black people were more racially conscious, there's no way we suffer the way we suffer. So as opposed to your argument that we're too obsessed by race and need to leave it alone, I would say we are not obsessed enough by race because if we were, we would not be in the condition that we are in. So when you say we are obsessed by race, are you saying black people? Are you trying to say we are obsessed by race? Did we enslave ourselves? Did we colonize ourselves? Are we the ones allowing police to kill us? We're obsessed by race, but we don't control no institutions. So show me how black people are more obsessed by race than white people, although white people own the institutions and systems, and yet black people have the worst outcomes. Idris Elba, if we are more obsessed by race than white people, why do we have the worst outcomes?
Why? Education, economics, police brutality, poverty, criminal justice. We don't control none of these systems. But you're telling me we are obsessed by race. I hope you ain't turning into a raccoon, my brother. I hope you are not turning into a raccoon. We are obsessed by race. Black people are not obsessed by race at all. At all. We are obsessed by religion. I don't know what rock you grew up under. I don't know what rock you grew up under. See, the problem with Idris Elba and other black celebrities, y'all spend so much time around white folks that they start manipulating your consciousness. This is why I don't like black kids going to white schools because white folks will manipulate the hell out of you by using their humanity card. Okay? White people love to use their humanity card to manipulate black consciousness. And so Idris Elba, you're always around these white folks and they treat you so equal. They treat you so equal. They're doing this on purpose because you're not a threat. They're doing this on purpose because you're not a threat and you get treated like an equal or so you think. So because you're not privy to the conversations they have when you're not around. So you can only assume you're being treated like, like an equal because I can guarantee you you're not getting your equal share of opportunities. I can guarantee you that. OK. And so you be around these white people so much. You've been around these white people so much. So now you start thinking like. They've dropped race as an issue. So you should drop race like an issue. Your opinions do not reflect black reality. Your opinions do not reflect black reality. Your opinions do not reflect black reality. What they reflect is a Negro who has had his consciousness manipulated by white folks. That's what this shows me. How the hell are we obsessed by race? Black people are the least race conscious group in the United States and in the world. And we definitely don't weaponize our race at all. We don't weaponize our race at all. If we did, the black dollar would be protected. The black dollar is open to all colors, all ethnicities, all cultures. We have never weaponized our money against other cultures. That's why we dead last, by the way. I don't believe we need to practice racism. I have no interest in being a bigot. I have no interest in denying people their God-given right to live a decent life. But for you to sit up here and say we're obsessed by race, show me the impact of black people being obsessed by race. Because if we were obsessed by race, we would be doing a whole lot better than we are right now. We are not race conscious enough, which is our problem. And then you said, race is only as powerful as you allow it to be. Here we go with this nonsense. Race is only as powerful as you allow it to be. Idris Elba, are you insane? How do we control the way racism is used against us in a system we don't own? How do black children control how racism is used against them in a school system they don't control? How do black elders choose the role race and racism plays when they get poor treatment at the hospital for COVID? How do black men choose how race and racism affects them when they go before the judge in court? Do you hear how ridiculous you sound? Turning the victim into the perpetrator. Turning the victim into the perpetrator. You say... I stopped describing myself as black when I realized it put me in a box. This is more interesting than everything else you said. This is more interesting than everything else you said, Idris Elba. You said, I stopped describing myself as black when I realized it put me in a box. So what you just said, is to proudly proclaim your black divinity. Because for me, you can't separate the word black from the word divinity. They are interchangeable. 
Blackness is divine. Divinity is blackness. So you're telling me that to proudly proclaim your black divinity is to limit your opportunity? Are you telling me, Idris Elba, that embracing black identity is a way of limiting your opportunity? I pray you don't raise your children like that. I pray you don't raise your children like that. I stopped labeling myself as black when I realized it put me in a box. So you are another one of these Negroes who believe that if I commit cultural amnesia, historical genocide, racial senility, as long as I ignore who I am, I can excel in life. What kind of a role model are you for black children? What kind of a role model are you for black children? What kind of a role model are you for black children when you say, I stopped describing myself as black when it put, because it put me in a box? So do you really think not calling yourself black is going to give you more Hollywood roles? Do you really think that, Idris Elba? Do you really think that because you don't see yourself as a black man, the white people in Hollywood are not going to see you as a black man? Are you that naive? A lot of black people are. Brothers and sisters, a lot of black people are silly enough to think that if I stop acting black, looking black, dressing black, sounding black, or in the case of Idris Elba, if I stop calling myself black, if I stop calling myself black, I will be received. I just told you on the Black History Month video, we've already been there and done that. This is why history is important. And this is why I'm going to be the history teacher at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. This is why I'm going to be the history teacher at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. Our children need to know what we've already been through so we can stop reinventing a broken will because Idris Elba wants to reinvent a broken will. We have spent centuries... America and Europe, because he's a European African, same thing. We have spent centuries in America and in Europe. We have spent centuries in America and in Europe trying to disidentify from our blackness as a way to achieve company with whiteness. We have spent centuries trying to disidentify from blackness as a way to achieve integration with whiteness. It doesn't work because as I've said in the previous video, Idris Elba, whether you stop calling yourself black or not means nothing. White people know who you are and you a dark skinned brother. You should know better. You should know better. If you was a fair skinned brother, mixed race brother, Still be ridiculous, but a little bit, just a little bit, just a little bit more understanding. Still ridiculous, still wrong, but I could understand the mental side a little bit better. You a dark-skinned brother talking about, I'm not going to call myself black no more because it puts me in a box. You must be looking for a certain movie role, or you must be looking at a certain white girl. You must be looking for a certain movie role. Or you must be looking at a certain white girl. You must be looking for a certain movie role. Or you must be looking at a certain white girl. Because I don't understand this at all. And then you said, we got to go. We got to grow. Idris Elba says, black people have to grow. He said, we stuck on race. We stuck on race. So America's not racist. The United Kingdom isn't racist. It's just that black people are too obsessed with race. Well, if that's the case, Idris Elba, 
Why doesn't our share of the wealth of the UK equal our percentage in the UK? Why doesn't our share of the wealth in America equal our percentage in America if race ain't got nothing to do with it? Now, you would argue that race has a little bit to do with it, but race is not the big picture. You're out of your mind. Race is the predominant factor in human relations. It supersedes religion. It supersedes occupation. It supersedes income. Race burns religion. Race burns education. Race burns class. Race burns nationality. Race burns everything. It is not a small R. It is a big R. And it is the dictatorial element upon which African people are brutalized. We did not choose to be victimized by race. Racism decided that we would be victimized by race. We got to grow. It's just the skin. Idris Elba, I got news for you, brother. You said this is just skin? You wrong. You wrong. You need to enroll at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. You need to enroll at the Frederick Douglass Marcus Garvey Academy. This is not just color, and it's not just skin. This is a chemical. This is an energy. This is a power. Melanin is a chemical. It is an energy. It is a power. It is my divinity. This color of mine says I'm God's original man. This color of mine says my relationship with supreme consciousness is stronger than anybody else's. This color of mine says I alone am able to reproduce myself with any other woman on the face of the earth. This color of mine is divine royalty. It is not just a color. It is a power. It is an energy. I will not ignore it. I will not destroy it. And I will not participate in racial genocide, cultural amnesia, or ethnic senility. No white people are going to ever convince me that I should forget who the hell I am. Idris Elba cut it out. Idris Elba cut it out. Idris Elba cut it out. Brothers and sisters, hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school, hit the cash app. Dollar sign FDMG school, hit the PayPal. PayPal.me slash FDMG Academy. We got to stop it. We got to stop thinking that if we stop thinking like black people, we'll be treated like white people. Cut it on now. Genetically, you're different. Biologically, you're different. Culturally, you're different. Socially, you're different. Intellectually, you're different. Historically, you're different. We the original man and woman. We're not like everybody else. I didn't say we better, but we damn sure not the same. Idris Elba, cut it out. You are suffering from Hollywood hysteria, my brother. You are suffering from Hollywood hysteria. Idris Elba, you are suffering from Hollywood hysteria, brother. You are out of your mind if you think just because you're going to stop calling yourself black, white people are going to reciprocate the favor. Are you crazy? Are you crazy? White people are racist. They believe in complete control and domination of all resources, opportunities, and privileges. You are out of your mind. Hollywood is one of the most racist industries in the world. Hollywood is one of the most color-coded, typecasted, racist industries in the world. How dare you sit up here and say you can change that by acting like you ain't black. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, King Kong Consciousness. I'm signing out. One race, one people, one family. Peace and Pan-Africanism.